How to make a water filter if the world is dead, rain glows faint green, and your tongue feels like sandpaper. Cities are quiet like a throat cut clean. The taps hiss dust, and the river looks like soup someone lost a fight in. You need water, not a funeral. Time to build a filter from the graveyard of civilization. Drinkable-ish is the new luxury. Start with a bottle, cracked, scorched, whatever. Slice the bottom with a knife, glass shard, or your last shred of optimism. Flip it upside down. Jam a sock in the neck. Clean sock? Hilarious. It's your pre-filter, catching the big uglies. Now layer the guts. First, charcoal. Burn wood. Bones. Broken furniture. Scrape the black heart out. Crush it. Don't inhale unless you want new lungs. That's your poison magnet. Carbon grabs stink, slime, and bad decisions. Then, find sand, steal it from a playground, or a collapsed condo planter. Above that, gravel. Parking lot gravel. Aquarium graveyard gravel. Apocalypse chic. Top it with a rag to stop the sand gel break. Pour your swamp tea slow. If it chokes, good, means it's working. Water crawls through gravel, big chunks, sand, tiny mazes, charcoal, tiny claws. Dirt stays, funk sticks. You get clearer, less murderous water. Bonus move. Boil it after. Heat murders microbes. Steam doesn't carry their bodies. Let it cool unless you like tongue blisters. Sip. Tastes like victory and regret. No bottled water, no problem. Just trash, physics, and spite.